Going on to our next question, uh, sir, how do you find Indian students uh, compared to students of other nationalities? Uh, all, uh, we, uh, when many students say Indian students, etc., we have students. Yeah. All are equal. Indian students are. Uh, this is all our students are brilliant. Everyone is this thing. brilliant, very good, and who are not brilliant, we expel them. Yeah. So I, I would say the all my. Rules are rules for everyone. Yes, really so. all, stu- all my students, Indian, not Indian, were brilliant, were good. The, the reason actually I'm asking you, sir, is that many of the you know parents and uh, students have doubts that you know if I'm going abroad, uh-huh. uh, after they come, you know they start uh, start self doubting themselves. So that's the reason I wanted to uh, you know I just put up this question to you so that I want them to be aware that when you come here, you have to work hard and. Every war equal and treated equally. So there is no difference here. No difference regarding that. But uh, moreover, uh, our students who enrolled to this university and who uh, survived after six months, yes, they have to be brilliant. Because all people who are not brilliant were cut down, we will send them back. So all students are bring. So that is how the uh, rule look. No, uh, no uh, parents should have zero doubts about yeah. that. We have amazing Indian community here. Yeah. And all, f- uh, for example, this uh, brochure made by uh, press team, okay. our, uh, which uh, uh, led by uh, Indian students who are standing behind. What? Uh, yeah. And previous. Uh, Press uh, press team leader was also from India. So uh, all talents are appreciated. Uh, we give any opportunity to you like photography. Okay, we have this opportunity. You like, uh, for example, we have uh, a lot of cultural activity. Russian people are very interested in Indian culture. So we have students who promote in Indian culture, like Indian uh, sort of uh, Bollywood things. Indian uh, songs, uh, traditional songs, and also Indian cuisine. If you go outside university, you will have, you will find some restaurants. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we hire Indian uh, students for to be uh, uh, workers in these restaurants or consultants on okay. about dishes. Okay, so that's interesting uh, for people to know that you know uh, students can actually work part time as consultants and help in you know uh, preparing Indian dishes. Uh, moving on to our next question, sir. Uh, there is a doubt among uh, students and parents with respect to licensing. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm pretty sure you are aware that uh, Indian government has, uh, especially NMC, has made it mandatory uh-huh. for students uh, after their completion, they have to uh, apply for licensing uh-huh. and obtain licensing in their specific country when uh-huh. they are studying uh-huh. before coming back to their own country. So, uh, what is the procedure after they complete the state exams? What is the procedure for them to apply for licensing in Russia? They go to this commission, uh, write application, and go to this exam. This exam practically the same as final exam in university, uh, but uh, it has some practicals. We call it stations. So, first is communication. Yes, absolutely. Which is uh, in Russian. Yes. In Russian. This is a uh, point to be noted that the exam, especially the license exam, is completely in Russian medium. Uh, National Me- Medical Commission of India yes. require you yes. to get six years in English, but it require you to have license exam and, and that too. all stations are in Russian. And first station is what? Communication, history taken, etc. In Russian, without communication, is that thing? It's nothing. Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. That's why we're trying to knock the door to National Medical Commission. First of all, yes. after getting Russian diploma, yes. you are ready specialist. You don't need to have license exam in Russia because yes. license exam is just your allowance uh, to work in specific area. After diploma, you can go to India and pass through National Medical Commission exam. You shouldn't go to this exam. It's weird. Yeah. If you're asking me to have six years in English, yes. and which is also weird, is it's like uh, a topic which is uh, from uh, space, not on Earth. 
so uh the two different and conflicting parts uh, i will book ticket to india and uh, if they invite me national medical commission last time when i was in delhi i was trying to uh, get to this uh, office and talk to uh, these people okay. zero response so i ready to book at uh, tomorrow and fly to delhi so this uh, video we would actually like to address the national medical commission and uh, you know we would love you to allow uh, like to watch this video and at least you know uh, listen to the suggestions carefully because it is uh, a part of a student's career and it matters a lot so do uh, you know near to the suggestions and think about yes maybe rich consultant can uh, book tickets for them bring them to our university we will uh, see how what is medical education at least <laughs> Uh, moving on to a final question, sir. Okay. Uh, what message would you like to give to the prospective students and parents who want to take admission at Bashkir State Medical University? Uh, my uh, first and only uh, request to be motivated. Yeah. So uh, send your children if they want to become doctors yeah not for joyful and pleasant time abroad no it's not a uh, part of like uh, educational tourism yeah. uh, we will expel these tourists yeah. we i'm expelling 300 tourists uh, annually easily uh, so don't send the tourists to us yeah send future doctors second uh, second thing uh, students should not waste uh, their times uh, here we have a lot of extracurricular activities. Okay. A surgical club. If you want to be a future surgeon, after classes, don't go to bar. We go to library. Take part in any activity. If you don't like uh, these educational things, take part in cultural things. Promote your country. You know, uh, when uh, we had Republic Day or Independence Day, students giving such amazing uh, performances, uh, dances, etc. Uh, with uh, a lot of patriotic feelings they, in their hearts, so uh, a lot of teachers, uh, they like to come and visit these events, and uh, we, as I said, our students are brilliant, so they show this, yes. and they must be um, adjusted to high level of our students. We have very, very high level. Second thing, uh, we have a lot of um, opportunities for employment, yes. and if you never work as a nurse, yeah. no doctor assistant during your studies, yeah. you, a person who is like, who will get diploma, yeah. but have zero, yeah. zero practical, uh, his own practical exposure, a part of this internship, which we give to students, but then you get your own responsibility for patients. Internship means uh, uh, your, uh, supervisor is responsible for then you responsible for your patients you will get you this feeling before you graduate but uh, this requires Russian language it's absolutely this require Russian language even even to take consent from a patient you need to know Russian language so now uh, NMC putting Indians so Indian students to very very bad position in uh, our in uh, Russia in other parts of the world that students cannot be hired yeah. every day uh, just behind the photographer a student from tajikistan he will go tomorrow for our hospital our hospital and he will get job and indian students who stand in there yeah. uh, they will not get this job because zero fluency in russian yes uh, this is this is one uh, very interesting thing and uh, through this video what i would like to convey is that when you come to Russia to uh, study medicine, it is really very important for you to start learning Russian from the first year itself. What you have you uh, seen that students take uh, learning Russian very lightly. They just want to come here, complete medicine and go back to their country. But just remember one thing that when you are coming to a country to study medicine and uh, something such as communication is very important. To make it a part of learn Russian starting from the first day itself. And the last thing is health. Yes. Uh, this year we surprise. We don't know what happened in, in India. 
we surprised we had seven cases of TB. Okay. Uh, students uh, coming with for this uh, TB. Yeah. And they uh, received uh, low quality uh, treatment of TB. So, so the, this is uh, while after they return from their summer vacations? No, 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 just oh. first year students. This is the first year, okay. Hopefully, uh, our seniors, uh, students from second to sixth year, we uh, get proper care, medical care here. Uh, but first year students, we come with, uh, for us, TB is catastrophe. Yeah, absolutely. Catastrophe. Especially in such a climate where typhoid. Yeah. We never saw typhoid here. Before okay. we get this, Export exported typhoid. So, uh, yep. parents, uh, dear parents, please we'll take care, of take care, and make X-ray for traveling. Yes, it's very important that you get yourself tested. Uh, as Sir mentioned, all vaccines, safety X-rays done, uh, get all your vaccinations done, so that it is not only about and bring documents, vaccination certificates. Uh, do carry all your vaccination documents and get yourself tested. This is only for your own self, so do take care. Uh, because we have to send them uh, back home. Yes. Uh, according to Russian law, we cannot uh, keep uh, we cannot keep uh, st students or a foreign citizen with TB. Yes. Uh, but unfortunately, TB care in India far away from uh, optimal, suboptimal. So that is the point. Yeah. Your, uh, your children could be future to be doctors. They will get this knowledge, this education, how it should be done. In uh, One of the students who well, traveled back after two weeks said, I got treatment, I'm healthy now. Okay. I said, according to WHO recommendation for low income countries uh, with zero government, minimal period of treatment. In six months. Actually, six months. Yes, that's what. Give me the name of Indian doctor who uh, uh, made you healthy within two weeks. We will we'll give Nobel Prize immediately. Still waiting the day. Still waiting the day. Uh, so, uh, you know, it was really good to talk to uh, Sir. And uh, I hope, uh, you know, whatever he's mentioned, you keep a uh, uh, point of it and uh, you know, take into consideration and also with this video, I would like to reach NMC and again, uh, would like to, uh, you know, make a suggestion that you know, sir has discussed a lot of points which the NMC can take into consideration and make an improvement. It is uh, for the well-being of the nation and also for our future doctors. Uh, with this, uh, you know, I would like to uh, end the video. It was really lovely talking, uh, talking to you, sir. Thank you.